Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and today I have such an incredibly exciting announcement. I am so, so excited. <laughs> this is so good, oh my God. To tell you that I am gonna be co-hosting a readathon called the A Thousand Doors Readathon. This is the first readathon I am ever hosting, so my excitement levels are through the roof. And I think it is such a special, unique readathon. I cannot wait for you to join us. I'm gonna be co-hosting this with two incredible booktubers who I'm obsessed with and love, and I'm sure you all watch already. I am gonna be co-hosting this with Emma from Drinking By My Shelf and Tasmin from Tea Books and Tasmin. I'll leave them linked down below so definitely go check them out if you haven't already. I guess I should tell you how this readathon works because it is very different. So it is essentially a choose your own adventure readathon. Get excited. <laughs> At midnight UK time GMT on Sunday the 1st of November, so as the clock strikes November, the first doors are going to open. So there'll be one video on my channel, one video on Emma's channel, and one video on Tasman's channel. And behind these doors you will find your first prompts. Now these prompts are going to be super up to interpretation. You don't need to do any planning for this readathon. Well, you can't do any planning. <laughs> And you shouldn't need to buy any books for this readathon. I know sometimes to fulfill prompts, people struggle to fulfill prompts readathons with the books they already own. But these prompts are gonna be super up to interpretation. So you really should be able to fulfill it with what you have already. You get to choose which of these doors you start with. You can just click on one and whichever one you click on, that's the one you start with. Or you could watch all three and decide which prompt you like best and go from there. You open the door, you hear the prompt, you go away, read your book, but make sure you book Mark that video because after you've read your book you need to go to the end of that video and at the end screen of the video you will see that there's four different doors with options based on what you thought of the book you read for that initial prompt. So we're going to be asking you lots of different questions about what you thought about the book or maybe the characters or something like that and that will determine which door you open next and there's going to be five layers to this so five prompts. Behind some of those doors you may find something that isn't a reading prompt but I'm not going to tell you anything more more about that. You are really encouraged to DNF if you're not enjoying your book. We really encourage you to DNF. There will be an option at the end of each video if you DNF your book. So that is completely an option and there'll be a special pathway for those of you that DNF. I'm sure this is all of you right now getting overwhelmed with how exciting this is. Girl, I just can't take this. It's too much. Give me my pocketbook. I'm leaving. Now, behind those doors, you may find me, Emma, or Tasmin, or you may find one of our amazing guest hosts. So we've got some amazing guest hosts who are gonna be giving you some prompts also, and these are Joel from Fictional Fates, Mina from Mina Reads, Jean from Jean Bookish Thoughts, Monica Kim, Cree Miles, Talani from Tea Time Tea Reads, and Lauren from the novel Lush. So they'll be behind those doors also. I'll leave all our guest hosts linked down below as well. And the guest hosts are also gonna be hosting some live read-ins with us throughout the week. On November the 1st, it's going to be Joel and Mina. On the 4th, it's going to be Jean, Monica and Cree. And on the 8th, it's going to be Talani and Lauren. So I'm so excited for them to take part. Oh, I just realized I haven't said how long this runs for. So this is going to be running technically for the whole month. You have got the whole month to complete it if you want. The prizes, which I'll get into in a second, are gonna be given out at the end of the month. So if you wanna take your time to do the whole month, do that. We're gonna be really actively hosting it for the first week, from the first to the eighth. That's when I'm gonna be completing the readathon. I know a lot of people like for a readathon to be a week long. So it's basically up to you whether you wanna complete it in a month or give yourself just the week to do it. We are gonna be hosting some more Twitter sprints and YouTube lives throughout the month, but it will be really active just within that first week. And we do have some prizes. So our prizes are gonna be these amazing candles from the Grace and Honey Shop, which is owned by our fellow lovely booktuber, Becca and the Books. I am not allowed to light candles in my flat. <laughs> I've just got to smell it unlit. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mmm, <laughs> I kind of like the smell. I have the chosen one, which is caramel, clove, cotton candy, and warm vanilla. And let me tell you, if you choose this one, Oh my god, it sm I wish I could like this. It smells so good. There's going to be a prize for the first to finish. 
the readathon. And like, don't cheat, because we'll know. <laughs> I'm not that you would, but um, whoever is first to comment on one of the end videos will win a prize. There's also going to be a prize for vlogging, so we would love to see you vlog this readathon, and we're going to randomly pick one of the vlogs, and they will win a candle of their choice also. And then the remaining eight prizes that we have to give out are going to be kind of secret. You're not going to know how you can earn them. It's all going to be to do with the pathways you take through the readathon. So just be honest with your choices when you are picking which door you want to go into and you may be eligible to win a prize. That's it's so exciting to me that you could win a prize, but you don't know how. That's just, oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> Oh my god, it smells so good. Make sure you follow our Twitter account, which is a thousand doors a thon. I'll leave it linked down below. And I am just so incredibly excited. This is like the perfect readathon for me because everyone's gonna have a different path, everyone's gonna have a completely different set of prompts, and you can't plan. I just love the excitement of it and opening those doors that just feel so magical, and I'm so excited for you to come through the doors with us. I can't wait to see what pathways you all get based on what books you read. And what you think of them and yeah I'm just so incredibly excited to be hosting my first ever readathon with these wonderful people so like I said I will leave everyone linked down below if you have any questions about the readathon feel free to leave them down below and I'll answer them and let me know if you think you're going to be participating I will see you very very soon in another video bye